Hello, this is Stephanie, and again, you have reached my channel, Saving with Stephanie J. Well, today is Saturday the 26th. It's about 7 o'clock, and I found out a little bit ago that uh, instead of having to be at work at 7, I don't have to be there until 11, so I'm like, yes! So I went and got me something to eat that was good, and I'm about to go to a movie. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> got to put the lipstick on, I'm just saying. Uh, recently, when I had my ankle surgery last year, I had a Fitbit, you know, watch. And it was the kind of Fitbit watch that you took out the face and you plugged it in every couple of days. And it's this little uh, charger thing. And, you know, you recharged it. No problem. Well, right when I had my ankle surgery there for, you know, a couple of weeks, I was non-weight bearing. I mean, I couldn't even... You know, I was crawling in the bathroom or going on my little knee scooter. And so I'm like, you know, I don't need to have it on and charge it and have it on charge it when I'm not doing anything. So I got the bright idea of just taking it over there and charging it. Well, by the time I got around to feeling better and to being up around, I can't find it. And I have torn that bedroom up. I mean, absolutely tore it up. And I cannot find it anywhere. So... I was going to go get me another one, and I saw, because uh, I had the Fitbit Blaze, and I paid $199 for that bad boy, so that kind of makes me really sick, um, but now I see they have the Fitbit, Fitbit Versa, and so uh, it's about the same price, and I could have my butt kicked because right around Christmas, they had gone down from $199 to like $149. Well... I didn't, because you know, us moms, we always are buying for somebody else or doing for somebody else. And I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll just wait. Mm -hmm. They're back up to $199, so I'm like, Tch. okay, because I just checked the price a few minutes ago at uh, um, Best Buy. And they've got two different kinds, like a regular Fitbit Versa and then like a exclusive edition. I don't want the exclusive edition. Mm, no, I just want the regular fit bit blaze um or if i could find a, a blaze or even a versa either one but i'd love to spend around 140 something dollars instead of um you know 199 especially since this is the second time i'm going to be buying one i i, I should have known better i shouldn't but that was what i thought at the time that that would be the smart thing to do mm. I don't know what in the world happened to it. And it's it's really funny because where I charge it up is on my nightstand. And the way that after I messed up my ankle and had surgery and everything, me and my daughter kind of got there by on that side of the bed with my nightstand. I had my medicine. I had tissues. Um, you know, she would bring me, you know, uh, waters and stuff like that. And so it was all over on that side of the bed. And so I know... Um, that I'm sure that it has got thrown away by accident, which is not a problem. Mercy, I've probably done it myself. But I just hate it because um, I'm a nurse, y'all know that, and I am always looking at my watch. And so, you know, I've been back to work since August, September, something like that. And I keep telling myself I'm going to get me one that I don't want to get just a regular watch that I want one that will do you know, because we're all trying to get a little bit more exercise and lose a little weight. Um, and so my Fitbit Blaze always helped me with that because there were times on my lunch break at work that a couple of the staff would do, you know, the challenges. And it was funny because about when the challenge was up, I take a lunch break and go running around the building on the outside, which is really funny because then that way I always won. I'm just that kind of person. And, um, so that was always fun, but it always motivated me to have that watch that, you know, that beeped or vibrated and said, you've got, you know, more to go. You need to get out and do something. Um, that, and that was just always, things like that always helped me. And so I need y'all to kind of help uh, me find a, a good price on those. If I could get it for like, okay, we're doing lipstick again. 
it is so dry outside. You kind of got to put a couple mm, pork chop coats on. If I could get one 149, I would be very happy. If I could get it for like 129, I would be ecstatic. Um, I, I really loved it. I am not a fan of the Fitbits that are the slender ones. I like the bigger face. Um, you know, that's just my preference. Um, so, y'all need to help me find one. Help me find one on sale or on clearance or... Um, I've looked on Amazon, and I've looked at Best Buy, uh, I've looked at Walmart, uh, I think that's about all the places I've looked at, and I'm, I looked at them just right before I went um, uh, on this video, so y'all give me a helping hand on that, and throw out me some um, suggestions um, of what you think about it, and with everybody's eyes looking for a good deal on that. I'll find one. I guess I could cash in some of my points that I use through the Fetch Rewards. I don't know if they have a uh, uh, Best Buy. I'm sure they have a Walmart gift card. But I don't really have enough points yet to to make a big difference. Hmm. I don't know. But, if y'all hadn't done... <laughs> watch this. I'll plug this. If y'all hadn't done, signed up for Fetch Rewards, um, look down below in the description and I'll have my... Um, like referral number and it and it gets you like two thousand points and it gets me I, I don't remember it's not a lot and uh, you can cash in a three dollar gift card at three thousand so you only need a thousand more to go and then you've got a three dollar gift card and besides all you do is take pictures of your receipts I mean it, it's easy um, and if there isn't a reward that you have purchased, say like you go to Walmart or wherever, it'll just give you 25 points. Well, you know, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. But, um, um, yeah, y'all, y'all see if you can help me out. Okay? I'm about to go in here to the movie, and I'm about to see the movie, uh-uh, what was the name of it? It's the one with, I believe it's Kevin Hart, and he is out of a job, and he is helping the man that's in the wheelchair. I figured that would be funny, uh, carefree, you know, before I had to go in at work at 11. I'm going to go to the 7, I think 7.15, so it's a few minutes till 7, um, and see that. I was going to watch the dog thing, you know, where the dog gets lost, and it, but mm, I, I, but I am not going to go pay to see a movie to cry. Mm-mm, not going to do it. Um, so I guess I better get my hot in in there, um, and go ahead and get my ticket. I just got done eating at, um, the old Chicago, uh, pizza place. Oh, that was very good. And I was able to get the gluten-sensitive pizza. Um, and you know, no place, unless it's truly certified gluten-free, especially like that, has truly gluten-free. Um, because technically you have to prep it in a separate kitchen, separate, but it was, it was, how, how did they put it, gluten sensitive stomachs, something, something like that, but uh, <clears throat> about 10 minutes later I discovered it still had just a little bit too much gluten in it, but it was so stinking good. So I'm going to try to go see um, a movie here in a little bit, um, we will see. If I, if I don't have to get up and down about a thousand times. Um, okay, y'all let me know about the Fitbit. And y'all let me know if you've seen this movie and what you think about it. And uh, let me know down below, like, what movies you have seen. And, um, you know, maybe... Because every once in a while I do get called off from 7 to 11. So all of a sudden I always have four hours that I could do something fun. And I'm always up and ready and usually on my way to work when I find out. And so it's always nice to... Um, you know, get a little, uh, uh, little surprise like that. Alrighty. Alrighty, it's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm going in. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.